Hi guys, um, as you can probably see here, we're looking at a rather different desktop to what is um, actually usually on display on my system while I'm recording a screencast or a video for you. Um, <clears throat> this is because I'm actually currently running Ubuntu Linux um, version 10.10 um, Maverick Meerkat. Um, the um, next version, actually, I think 10.10 10 10 is Meerkat. Yeah, I think so. Um, the next version, um, Natty Norwal, isn't out of beta yet, so you know I won't be running that. Um, anyway, as you might have been no noticed by the little um, rock melt notification that popped up then, while I'm actually on Ubuntu Linux now, I'm not actually natively in it. I'm running it um, virtually via VirtualBox. Um, those of you that follow my official Twitter or are a personal friend um, and have me on Facebook may have actually seen my posts regarding this. I've installed uh, VirtualBox and I've actually set up and installed Ubuntu um, like through VirtualBox. Now, it seems to be running fine. The only issue I've had is with certain icon placements and whatever like this is in the wrong place it should be off to the far right um, not all that um, these the placement is finally ready now um, okay I've got a rock melt great update I'll do that later um, these are in the right place now other than that should be somewhere over here and that should be at the far right but um, when I first start booted it up um, the icons, the deeds ones, were all the way over here. It was, it was absolutely ridiculous. Um, some problem with the guest editions. Um, guessing if anyone knows how to fix that, then um, leave it in the comments or you know just get in touch with me. Um, however, for the people, the people that this video is aimed at, then um, I doubt you know, many of you would be any less clueless than me. Anyway, this is a fresh, clean install of Maverick Meerkat, well, upgraded from Comic Koala, um, because the only uh, Maverick Meerkat DVD I had, um, and I didn't want to download the ISO um, and take up disk space on the Mac, so the only um, DVD I had doesn't work. Um, for some reason, um, it's like that's one thing I'd advise you, even though I'm a Mac user. But if you want to go Linux, don't get a Mac, really, don't get a Mac because they're not very Linux friendly at all. And it seems that um, Mac's burning to turn DVD burning tools while the native burning is absolutely fantastic for pretty much anything and everything. Burning uh, Linux ISOs, it just doesn't seem to like doing it does, they don't seem to work properly um, so yeah I upgraded from Karmic and now as I say you're looking at a freshly installed Karmic Koala you know minus the upgrading business and stuff um, I've checked for updates apparently there's no updates as I say so it's all up to date and whatnot um, Anyway, the purpose of this video and probably the next series, uh, few series of videos to follow shall be um, mostly educational. I'll try and tell you a bit about Linux, tell you a bit about Ubuntu Linux, which I recommend for new for Linux newbies basically, either this or Linux Mint. Um, if you're so attached to, um, if you're really so attached to Windows, then I'd probably recommend Linux Mint more. But for most people new to um, Linux, but who want to get as far away from Windows as possible, I do highly recommend Ubuntu. Um, now this video with me rabbiting has probably already gone on for quite a while now, so the first tutorial I'll do in the next video, I won't do right now, as I say, so you're not watching an hour long video or whatever. Um, because that might be a little weird having like an hour long video with the tutorial and whatnot um, and then 
and then all the other videos being a lot shorter just with me showing a particular thing to do. Um, so yeah, I'm going to leave it at that. What I'll do though is I'll show you what a fresh install of Maverick Meerkat looks like. Now if you're running it, not running it virtually and using the Get Scarce Editions, which I doubt you, doubt you are because I'm not going to aim it at virtual box users really, um, then <clears throat> Some of the layout of these icons will look slightly different, but otherwise it will be exactly the same. Um, so what you're presented with is this. First, you have your little Ubuntu menu here. You've got three options, applications, places, and system. Um, now applications, this, as you would think, is where you run all your, all your um, applications, you know, all your Ubuntu software, basically, stored here. Once you've clicked applications, you see a sub-menu comes up and you have the options here of accessories, games, graphics, internet, office, sound and video, and then at the bottom we have the Ubuntu Software Center. Now I'll go through that for you in a future video. I'll go through that in you know as full detail as possible, at least you know, tell you everything you need to know. Um, so actually taking you through the subcategories, under accessories we have calculator, now that's self-explanatory, character map, um, if you're new to Linux and you're not, you know, a computer whiz or whatever, you're not too likely to use a character map, but otherwise, if you know what, a, otherwise, basically you'll know what a character map is anyway and um, if you were likely to use the characters and whatever. So I'm not going to actually go into explaining what a character map is. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm talking too much. Um, anyway, disuse this analyzer. Um, according to this, there are two tips saying check folder sizes and available disk space. Um, I've never actually used that tool. Um, and I'll show you good tips for actually managing and looking at your disks and other bits and bobs anyway. Um, manage print jobs. If you actually have a printer, this will be where you'll control, you know, your print jobs, you know, cancel prints, pause or resume ones. Uh, search for files, um, basically bringing up a desktop search, I could imagine. Um, again, not exactly a feature that I've used and I'll show you something better um, in a future video. Take screenshot, again, pretty obvious screenshot of um, the desktop or individual windows. Um, so built in for function, very good. Terminal, now, the kind of people I'm making these videos for, you don't need this. Um, and the rest of you are probably just watching the video to support me and for entertainment purposes, and you'll know everything of what I'm showing you anyway. Um, text editor, as I say, it's just basically a text edit like Notepad in Windows or text edit in um, OS X. Tomboy Notes, a little notes program. Uh, I've never used it personally. I've never used a note, note program. No needed to. Games. Now built in, you just uh, you have a few good decent games built in. Now when I say you know a few decent games built in, I'm not talking about like Call of Duty and games like that. If you want to run them kind of games. I'll show you the software, um, you know, I'll show you, a, you know, the software that's best for running a lot of them. Although, if you want a, you know, a hardcore game on a PC, stick to Windows. Um, here you've got another subcategory of logic, and you've got here five or more, four in a row, G-Brainy, you know, Lightsoft, Mime, Sudoku, um, and you've got, you know, ton of other games here, there are more than a standard Windows install comes with, or some for that matter I believe. Uh, graphics, you've got F-Spot Photo Manager, which would be like um, Windows Live Photo Gallery on um, Windows, or on OS X it would be like um, iPhoto, although nowhere near as powerful as far as I know. GIMP um, is basically the open source version of Photoshop. Uh, pretty much free and open source. Um, open Office drawing, a little vector graphics program, I believe, or you know, just simple drawing, pretty much like paint. Um, 
Shotwell Photo Manager. Now, I don't get this. I'm guessing this was something to do with um, my upgrading and the latest comes with Shotwell. But I, I have spot is left over, you know, because I upgraded. Um, same here, we've got two scanners, XA and image scanning program and simple scan. Um, internet, we have empathy instant messaging, evolution mail, Firefox web browser. Um, Firefox is the default browser for most Linux distributions out there. Um, Gwibba social client, we'll cover that in a future video as well because um, it's very highly integrated into um, Ubuntu here. Um, remote desktop, you probably ain't going to use that anyway. Terminal server, again, something you probably ain't going to use. Transmission for BitTorrent, now um, could be used for downloading other Linux distributions and whatever. Um, any illegal activity, I'm not going to publicly endorse on here and I'm not going to support you and help you do that so I won't go over a bit daunting too much <coughs> excuse me pretty late at night uh, as you can see in the clock on the top right there and my voice is, seems to be going a bit um, <coughs> and under office we have dictionary evolution mail and calendar basically like outlook on windows or um, mail on Mail and calendar combined, pretty much on um, OS X. Um, open Office presentation, pretty much like PowerPoint um, or Keynote on OS X. Spreadsheet, uh, pretty much like Excel on um, Windows or you know Office for Mac, as I say on OS X. Or um, Numbers as well. I work Numbers on OS X. Um, word processor pretty much obvious, speaks for itself. Um, under sound and video we have Brazero, Brazero, however the heck you pronounce it, disc burner, basically a CD, DVD burning utility. Um, in my experience, not as good as K3B, but K3B is KDE specific. Um, and Ubuntu doesn't use KDE. There is a derivative called Kubuntu, um, but I don't believe it's official as well. Um, movie player, um, I believe it's Totem, the movie player, um, basically to play movies and songs. Not all support is 100% built in, but I'll, again, I'll go through that. I'll you know, show you in a future video how to set that up. Pity V, or however you pronounce it, video editor, very simple video editor. Um, you know, I've used it once or twice before. There isn't that much you can do with it, but it's not bad. Rhythmbox Music Player, now in the next version of Ubuntu, the one that's in beta now, Rhythmbox is replaced by Banshee, so it will be using a different music player, sound and sound recorder, um, and then obviously the Ubuntu Software Center. And then you've also got your Places menu, which has your, basically your different locations on the hard drive. Um, system, basically you've got your System Preferences, with, um, area here as I say where you can basically adjust different preferences I'm going to go for each one of these at the moment um, in future videos I'll pretty much show you near, near enough all you'll need to get set up anyway um, administration um, some important admin tools a lot of these you probably won't be using there will be a particular software um, that I will be showing you um, in a future video that will cover most of these things to be honest if not all of them so you'll probably need almost ne almost never use this um, menu and if you want to jump ahead of my videos and just play around yourself then one piece of advice I'll give you do not under any circumstances do not use computer jan jan janitor uh, pardon my French but pretty much there is a large risk it will fuck up your system. Do not use this. I highly recommend if you wanted to use this, want a feature like this, wait until my future videos. One of them, I will be showing you a software that pretty much does all of these features, including that, and does it right. Um, underneath this as well, under the system, we have help and support. Um, now, the best help you can get for Ubuntu is the forums 
or for more instant gratification, you can use an IRC chat client such as XChat. If you download and install XChat through the Software Center, we'll go into that in a future video as well, um, then pretty much it will already be configured. As soon as you run it, it you'll be in the um, Ubuntu support channel anyway. So um, yeah, that's the best one of the best ways to get support. Um, about GNOME, we'll give you information on the GNOME version that's installed, um, which is the desktop environment that this version of Ubuntu uses. The next version is still going to use GNOME. It's still going to have it as a fail-safe, but its default desktop environment is going to be Ubuntu, Ubuntu's own and, um, environment called uh, Unity. Um, and then about Ubuntu, basically some basic information about the Ubuntu version you have installed. And then here, you can also, on this top panel, you can also add, like you see here, icon shortcuts um, to your applications, um, pretty much like um, Quick Launch on Windows or whatever. Um, pretty much, that's it. That's all I'm going to show you for this video, because this will have gone on for a while now. Stay tuned for future videos coming up in the future. Um, I'm not going to say there's going to be one tomorrow. I'm not even going to say there's going to be one next week. For all I know, it could be next month. It could even be the next two months that the next video will come. All I will tell you is, unless I post a video or have an update of some sort telling you otherwise, these videos will come and I will basically be guiding you through um, setting up um, your brand new Ubuntu installation for regular use. This is assuming you're using the current latest, which at this current time, on this current day, the 21st of April, um, it is Maverick Meerkat version 10.10 .10, uh, of Ubuntu. So I'm going to leave it at that for now. This is J800R. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.